guys what's up welcome 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 today we're going to be looking over midi effects midi effects are essentially effects that can only be used on midi you can use audio effects on midi such as reverb but you can't use midi effects on audio so that's something important to note we're working in ableton 11 today we're going to be going through each all of MIDI effects step by step. So we're going to be going over the arpeggiator later in a separate video because there's a lot to talk about with that one. Chord, you've got different chords here so we can just jump stick that on. And what this is going to do is you can actually shift chords and create different chords from just one set of MIDI. So Shift 1 will add another note at 7 semitones, which will stay in key. 3 will stay in key. 5 will stay in key. And then that, that will be a nice stretched out chord. And you can tweak these to get different notes. If you guys are struggling with uh, music theory behind that, you can just get one of these presets with preset chord patches and some of them will have different emotions like this one sounds alright so what we could do is if we clicked on this window and dragged it down so the MIDI actually sounded a bit better It's not the best sound, so if we want to change that, we could just get a piano. Just drag that on. Go down to controls. And then transpose the MIDI down, just over here. So yeah, just for the purpose of this, that's what, what that sounds like. You can drag in different presets. Awesome. So you can have a play around with those. That's the chord. Now we've got envelope MIDI, which is a Max for Live plugin, which uh, you can change the envelope of the clip, which is really exciting. You've got attack, which is the start, decay is like the middle bit, the body, and then sustain is the length, and then releases. The, the tail so you can cool we're kind of getting it sounding a bit nicer now that's envelope midi really interesting you can find that in max for live or in ableton 11 it's under midi effects so let's look at expression control which is uh, another new one so it looks like we can kind of get a visual look at the velocity pitch bend after touch and stuff of things here Looks like you can change them around. So that's one to look at. And then we've got the MIDI effect rack. So there's loads of different stuff we can use in here. Loads of presets. Let's look at experimental. Cool. And there's different presets here in Ableton 11. Interesting. Sounds like it changes the transposition of the MIDI. Okay, that's very interesting. Chord echo variations. Then you've got utility, you've got keys and scales. So you can literally just change the key of uh, MIDI by using this, which is interesting. You can get rid of that very useful. Let's look at MIDI monitor. Okay, cool. So you can kind of see what notes are being played. That's quite interesting. Very cool. And MPE control. They've, th they've th really thought of everything. No, 
it's echo so that look cut that MPU control kind of look like so you can kind of bend like an automation of pressure slide or pitch which is interesting no echo which is like a kind of interesting EDM echo there's a few presets here as well and we've got note length Can change the length of the notes. You can create gating effects as well, which is where sound doesn't totally go through. It's like pushing air through a gate. It, some of it gets through, but not all of it gets through, kind of thing. Then we've got pitch. We can easily change the pitch of your MIDI. Random, which is always a fun one. You can randomize stuff. That's a good one for layering. And here we've got scale, where you can change the scale of stuff and just click these notes up and down, try and get the black ones. And there's that. So you can just set scales from doing that. Some of the popular ones in dance music are Dorian, um, Phrygian mode, and Phrygian dominant. And uh, major chords are kind of like happy and minor chords are sad. So you're in uplifting, you know, EDM kind of main room stuff. You'll probably hear a lot of major chords with the stuff there. And then in pop music, probably major chords. And then in underground dance music, you kind of get minor chords. We get like dissonance and kind of darker tones and vibes and stuff from that. And then here we've got velocity where it'll change the velocity of each note. It's quite interesting. That's a brief look at MIDI effects, guys. We're going to look at arpeggiator later, which is the one I use the most in this section. Arguably one of the only ones I use here. So thank you, guys. I'll speak to you in the next one, and peace.